Well, I, I don't know exactly what they are, but I've talked to hundreds of schizophrenics and meth addicts. That's where I first, when the prison started filling up with meth addicts, okay, and the, the prisoners called meth the devil's drug. And that's what it is. It is, it's, man. It's one of the most dangerous drugs out there. And I've seen more people go psychotic on meth than any other drug. You know, and it starts off where they start using the stuff, they start hearing the voices while they're using it, and they go, oh, that, you know, that's just a hallucination. Right? And, and they come down and the voices are gone. So they go, well, that proves it's a hallucination. Next time they use it again, they start hearing voices again. They might do that for a month or two. And then one day, the voices don't go away. They're there for the rest of their lives. And they're just as psychotic as anybody in the mental health system. They're just and anybody locked up on a mental hospital. You know, meth drives people crazy. It's very dangerous. Now, along with that, they were seeing shadow people. So when I heard something like that, I was like you. My ears are like, I'm all ears. Well, tell me about these things. Well, what they said, they were three-dimensional shadows, in the, often in the shape of humans, but not always. Sometimes they had capes. Sometimes they had hats, you know. Uh, sometimes they were dressed in different kinds of things, but they were always three-dimensional shadows. They were always darker than the rest of the room. Okay? They never spoke, never said anything. They would just appear at the, in the, uh, with the person, or it, usually at night they were darker than the rest of the room. If the, if the patient paid attention to them and kept looking at them, they would start moving toward the patient. And, and I've, never, I've never found a person who stayed put long enough for them to get there. Yeah, I was just going to so, ask, what happens when I, they get to you? I, I only talked to one person who said they felt them walk through them. Whoa. And they said they could actually feel them as they passed through them. Okay. So they, they never say anything. You're good. Yeah. What they wanted to know was, were they seeing the same shadow people? Or were they seeing individual shadow people individually? It's the same. They, Dude, a cop friend of mine did this experiment. And he's like, they're the same. Like, they're seeing the same thing. Right. Like, right. like that's he, what these guys Yeah, think. like meth heads in my area. One of my buddies who's on the SWAT, he's like, he's like, dude, the craziest shit that got him back into Christianity. He's like, these guys don't want to be bad. They're like, I don't want to do these things. Like they're like, they're like possessed and right. they'll see the same guy as another meth guy. Like it's, so it's not even in their head. Like multiple guys will be looking at the same guy. And I find that, and he was like, dude, it's crazy. And so now and he's that's just, what he found. Yeah. That's what he found out also. Yeah, they went yeah. and did an experiment. They went out to one of the Indian reservations south of here, middle of nowhere at night. And one guy shot up with the meth. He started seeing them. The other guy couldn't. The other guy shot up. Then they're both seeing them. And they found that they were seeing the same ones doing the same thing. So they were both agreeing that they could see the same ones. Now, he said, uh, <clears throat> remember I said they, they start moving in on you when you pay attention to them? Well, these guys, there was, they started coming in out of the desert and just come moving in on them as a horde. So they jumped in the truck, locked the doors, rolled up the windows, and sat in the truck watching them. And then he said at one point, the back of the truck went down like a giant boulder hit it, and the front of the truck jumped up. And they looked in the back of the truck, and it was full of these shadow people. So that got my attention, too. It's like I didn't think these things could affect physical reality but if what he says is true, they can. Now, the only direct experience I had with something that was probably a, a shadow people. See, when, when they start seeing the color of their eyes, the, the color of the eyes on the shadow people are either red or, or lime green. When I talked to a patient who saw their eyes, they were in deeper trouble than people that didn't see their eyes. They were much further along the way. They were much further gone. Okay. Then there was one day uh, I was working psych crisis in the emergency room of the county hospital at the time. And uh, it was Christmas Eve I got assigned to, to work. And it was pretty quiet night. And this one guy comes in. He's shaking like a leaf. I'm just trembling like a leaf. Never stopped shaking. 
so I, I <clears throat> pulled him in, started finding out what's going on with him. He said he was, he's been a meth addict. And I said, uh, do you, how do you use it? He says he injects it. I said, how long have you been use, doing that? He said, uh, 10 years. Right away, my ears went up. I mean, he should have been dead five years ago. I don't know why he was still alive. So I was very curious. Started asking him questions. I said, uh, <clears throat> do, you, do you see the shadow people? He goes, yeah, I see them. I asked, did you ever see their eyes? He said, yeah, I see their eyes. They're lime green. You know, so I didn't tell him what color. He knew. And I, I said, have you ever spoken to them? Because I've never spoken to anybody who did, but I, I just asked that because I figured this guy who's been doing meth for 10 years, injecting, and he's still alive, if, if they did talk, he would know about it. Okay? So he goes, yeah, I've spoken to them. And I said, well, what did they sound like? And he started describing this. I mean, it, it just gave me shivers just having him describe it. It was, it was like you know, running your fingers across a chalkboard. You know, it was this high-pitched, squeaky sound that just gave me shivers just listening to it. I just lost your audio again. I lost your audio. Yeah, it's like a high-pitched whine. It's like, ah, oh, maybe not. Yeah, I've heard that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's what they said. So I, I asked them, well, what, what did they tell you? What were they talking to you? And as soon as I asked that question, this guy's... Shiver, his, his shaking. He was shaking the whole time in the office. He was just like this. Stopped. He went dead still. Just dead still. And I'm looking at his eyes, and those weren't his eyes anymore. They were like these deep, dark pools of hatred. Yeah, they get black, I mean, it was too. Like, like, people's eyes can get black. black. Yeah. Yep. They, they were like that. They were just black. You know, wide black pupils. It was like this, this cold hatred like I've never felt in my entire life just streaming out of him, you know? <clears throat> I lost your audio again. They're fucking... <laughs> the key is just not letting it bother us. Just like, just, no. yeah, they want us to be annoyed. So you can't show fear in that situation. So here I am staring at these, these dark eyes. This guy's just stark still after shivering all night unceasingly. He's stark still, and these eyes are looking at him, and that wasn't him. That was something else, you know? And I could just feel this deep, cold hatred just welling out of there. I've never felt hatred like it in my life from anybody or anything. It was, I, I, I'll never forget the hatred. It was just this silent, cold hatred just pouring out of those eyes. And then, boom, it just, it just left, and he started shaking again, you know? And I'm like... You know, he didn't even realize it happened, I don't think. So I'm like, I needed to know what they said. You know, and I, I was I was pretty shook up, but here's the adrenaline junkie again. Yeah, yeah. You know, how far can you push this without getting your head knocked off? And I said, well, I, I think I got another shot. And one more. <laughs> so I, I started asking him, I goes, well, what, what did they tell you? What did the, what did the shadow people tell you? He said, they told me to go out, out to the highway and jump in front of a truck. And I said, well, what happened? He said, well, I, I did. He, he, they told me I wouldn't be hurt. So I said, well, did you do it? He goes, yeah, I did. I jumped in front of a truck. And he, he said, I was hit. He said, I was thrown off, off the road, off to the side of the road. And he said, when I woke up, the shadow people were standing all around me, telling, <clears throat> telling me, that now I'm getting, now they're getting my throat. They were telling him to get up. He wasn't hurt. And he got up and he said, I wasn't hurt. And I said, well, what happened then? They said, do it again. So he did it again. He was hit again. And um, they, he got up and again, he wasn't hurt. So then I went to ask him another question. And I thought better of it. <laughs> I lost your audio again. <laughs> so what happened to the guy? Like, how did that end? Well, I thought about asking him another question. And then I thought better of it. You know, yeah. after that thing came back twice, I'm yeah. like, 
what's it going to do a third time? So it's like strike three, you're out. I just, I just went, no, okay, go back. Has one I of them ever admitted- attacked you? Is one ever, if you've asked them questions, 